Nestled amidst a network of canals and bursting with vibrant colors, Amsterdam is a city that never fails to enchant. But beneath its charming exterior lies a tapestry of stories, secrets, and astonishing facts waiting to be unearthed. From its ingenious canals to its bicycle-filled streets, we will reveal the remarkable tales that have shaped Amsterdam's captivating character. Prepare to be amazed as we delve into the fascinating history and uncover the secrets behind five incredible Amsterdam facts that will leave you breathless. Amsterdam, a city often dubbed the Venice of the North, owes much of its charm to its intricate network of canals. But these waterways are far more than just picturesque reflections of the sky, they are a testament to human ingenuity and the city's remarkable past. Imagine if you will Amsterdam in the 17th century, a bustling hub of commerce, its streets overflowing with merchants, traders and goods from every corner of the globe. To accommodate this booming trade, a plan was devised, a vision so audacious, so grand, that it would forever shape the destiny of Amsterdam, the creation of the Canal Ring. The Herengracht, Kaisersgracht and Prinsengracht, these three main canals, along with their intricate network of smaller waterways, were not simply dug out of the earth. No, these canals were meticulously planned, a symphony of engineering and artistry. The architects of this ambitious project envisioned not just waterways, but a system of concentric canals, forming a series of elegant arcs like ripples in a pond. This ingenious design, a marvel of its time, served a dual purpose. It not only provided essential infrastructure for transporting goods and expanding the city's footprint, but also acted as a crucial line of defense. The canals, with their strategically placed bridges and sluice gates, could be easily controlled protecting Amsterdam from unwanted visitors. As the city prospered and grew, so too did its canals. Waterfront properties became highly sought after, their narrow facades a testament to the city's innovative spirit. Merchants, eager to maximize their storage space, constructed their warehouses with ingenious hoisting systems, their gables adorned with ornate decorations, proudly displaying their wealth and status. Today, these canal houses, with their charming gabled roofs and colorful facades, stand as silent witnesses to Amsterdam's rich history. Each house, a storybook in brick and mortar, whispers tales of a bygone era, of prosperous merchants, skilled craftsmen, and a city that dared to dream big. The gentle ringing of bicycle bells is the soundtrack to Amsterdam, a city where bicycles reign supreme. More than just a mode of transport, cycling is deeply ingrained in the Amsterdam DNA, a way of life, a philosophy that permeates every aspect of the city's fabric. But how did Amsterdam become this two-wheeled paradise, a beacon of sustainable urban living? The answer, like most things in Amsterdam, is a fascinating blend of history, practicality, and a touch of Dutch pragmatism. In the post-war era, as car ownership surged across Europe, Amsterdam faced a critical juncture. Traffic congestion threatened to choke the city's historic canals, and air pollution cast a shadow over its charming streets. Instead of succumbing to the allure of the automobile, Amsterdam embarked on a different path, a path that prioritized people over cars. This pivotal decision, a bold move for its time, laid the foundation for the cycling city we see today. Dedicated bike paths began to appear alongside roads, their red asphalt a clear signal that bicycles were not just tolerated but welcomed. Traffic lights were synchronized for bicycle speed, making cycling a breeze, and vast networks of bike parking sprang up across the city. But the true success of Amsterdam's cycling culture lies not just in its infrastructure, but in its social fabric. Cycling is not seen as a niche activity for the eco-conscious few, but rather as an integral part of daily life, embraced by young and old, professionals and students alike. Children grow up learning to navigate the city on two wheels, their parents confidently cycling alongside. Commuters, smartly dressed in their work attire, glide effortlessly through the streets, their briefcases strapped securely to their bikes. This widespread adoption of cycling has had a transformative effect on Amsterdam. The air is cleaner, the streets are safer, and the pace of life is decidedly more relaxed. Amsterdam's skyline is a captivating blend of architectural styles, where centuries-old gabled houses stand shoulder to shoulder with modern marvels. But amidst this eclectic mix, a certain set of buildings stands out, their unusual leans and quirky facades drawing curious gazes from locals and tourists alike. 
These are Amsterdam's famed dancing houses, a whimsical collection of buildings that seem to defy gravity with their playful tilts and seemingly precarious angles. But rest assured, these architectural marvels are not on the verge of collapse. Their seemingly haphazard leans are not the result of settling foundations or whimsical design choices, but rather a testament to the ingenuity of Amsterdam's builders and the unique challenges posed by the city's watery foundations. Unlike cities built on solid ground, Amsterdam's foundations are a network of wooden poles driven deep into the soft, marshy soil. These wooden stilts, numbering in the millions, provide the necessary support for the city's buildings, but they also introduce a unique set of challenges. Over time, these wooden poles can shift or decay, causing the buildings above to settle unevenly. This uneven settling is the primary reason why many of Amsterdam's older houses have a noticeable lean, often leaning against their neighbors for support. But the dancing houses take this architectural quirk to a whole new level. Their exaggerated leans and unusual angles are often the result of intentional design choices, a way for architects to embrace and even accentuate the challenges posed by Amsterdam's unique foundations. One such example is the Dancing House on the Amstel River, its facade a playful wave of glass and steel. This modern masterpiece, designed by renowned architect Frank Gehry, appears to be frozen mid-dance, its curved walls and tilted windows a deliberate nod to the city's penchant for unconventional architecture. Amsterdam in the 17th century was a city intoxicated by beauty, a place where the allure of a flower sparked an economic frenzy unlike any other. This was the era of tulip mania, a time when the price of a single tulip bulb could surpass the cost of a grand canal house, a period of speculation and extravagance that would leave an indelible mark on Amsterdam's history. Imagine, if you will, the bustling flower markets of Amsterdam, their stalls overflowing with a kaleidoscope of colors, their air thick with the sweet fragrance of tulips. These exotic flowers, recently arrived from Turkey, had captured the imagination of Amsterdam's elite, their vibrant hues and intricate patterns a symbol of wealth and status. As demand for these prized bulbs soared, so too did their prices. People from all walks of life, from wealthy merchants to humble artisans, were caught up in the speculative frenzy, mortgaging their homes and investing their life savings in the hope of striking it rich with tulips. Contracts were exchanged, fortunes were made and lost overnight, and the price of tulip bulbs reached dizzying heights, some rare varieties fetching more than the annual income of a skilled craftsman. It was a time of both immense wealth and reckless speculation, a bubble fueled by the insatiable desire for these coveted flowers. But like all bubbles, the tulip mania was destined to burst. In the spring of 1637, the market for tulip bulbs collapsed, sending shockwaves through Amsterdam's economy. Fortunes were wiped out overnight, investors were left bankrupt, and the city that had once been awash in the colors of tulips was left to grapple with the consequences of its floral obsession. The tulip mania serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder that even the most beautiful of things can be subject to the whims of speculation and the dangers of irrational exuberance. As we've journeyed through Amsterdam's captivating past, we've witnessed its resilience, ingenuity, and unwavering spirit. But Amsterdam is not a city content to rest on its laurels. Today, this forward-thinking metropolis is at the forefront of a new revolution, a green revolution, transforming itself into a model of urban sustainability for the 21st century and beyond. Gone are the days when Amsterdam's canals were choked with traffic and its air thick with pollution. In their place, we find a city embracing innovative solutions, a city where sustainability is not just a buzzword, but a way of life. Amsterdam's commitment to green living is evident in its ambitious goals, its pioneering initiatives, and the collective will of its citizens to create a greener, more sustainable future. One of the most striking examples of Amsterdam's green revolution is its ambitious plan to be completely emission-free by 2050. This ambitious target is driving a wave of innovation, from electric canal boats silently gliding through its waterways to electric garbage trucks collecting waste with a whisper instead of a roar. Amsterdam is also a pioneer in the field of circular economy, where waste is seen as a resource to be reused, repurposed, and recycled. From rooftop gardens transforming urban landscapes into edible oases to innovative startups finding new uses for discarded materials, Amsterdam is demonstrating that a sustainable future is not just possible, 
it's already being built. Amsterdam is leading by example, showing the world that a greener, more sustainable future is within reach. Amsterdam, a city where history intertwines with innovation, where beauty thrives alongside pragmatism, has truly captured our imaginations. We've uncovered the secrets behind its intricate canals, marveled at its bicycle-centric culture, and delved into the stories behind its dancing houses and tulip-fueled frenzy. If you enjoyed this captivating journey through Amsterdam's fascinating facts, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awe-inspiring discoveries from around the globe.